Hi everyone, I'm back with the next in my series of videos on my craft studio. A question I get asked a lot is how I film my craft tutorial videos. I'm really lucky with this shed that it has a great big beam from the ceiling in the centre of the room. So that enabled me to get a really inexpensive camera holder. I bought this one on eBay. Um, the make is Aventry and as you can see it just clamps onto the beam so it saved me having to sort of screw anything in anywhere. Um, I also wanted to avoid, I'd had um, a similar one to this before that I'd clamped onto the side of my desk and that worked fine but of course when you're stamping and, and doing things like that you shake your desk and if your camera is attached to your desk then that means you're going to get a shake so I, I was really quite keen to find a way of having um, my camera fixed from the ceiling uh, so when when I realised that they were going to be putting a beam in the middle I was delighted because I knew then it was really going to be straightforward so this um, I, I film all my videos on my iPhone I've got at the moment I've got the iPhone 11 Pro and it fits in here nicely um, I've got this halo light. I bought this on Amazon. If you Google um, halo lights on Amazon, you'll find a selection. This one I like, it's quite a good size. I can tilt it sort of straight upwards if I want to do a film of, of me sitting at my desk so that the light's on me. But when I'm doing a video, um, I have it like this. And actually I use it as a general crafting light. I don't just use this for videos, it's on all the time really. My craft area itself, I like to use this tonic mat, but you can see that you get a real glare from the light. So it's not ideal for filming. Depending on what film I'm doing, if the light's quite good anyway, if it's a bright sunny day, then I might just move the light away from the desk area so that you don't get this glare. If I do sort of need the light, then I just move this mat off. And what I've got here, this is a bit of old vinyl flooring from um, our other shed. And I've put that on top of my desk because it's wiped clean. So I can kind of craft straight onto that if I, if I want to avoid having the glare from the glass mat. So that's how I film my videos. If I'm filming... Oh, one other thing to mention actually is... Um, I bought this selfie stick recently that has a remote control with it. Now, the idea is that you can um, position this and then use the clicker to take a photo of yourself. But the great thing is that this um, remote control obviously works with my phone. So if I'm not, I don't necessarily need to be using that selfie stick this remote control will turn the camera on my phone on and off. So that means when I've got my phone mounted in here, I can use the remote control to stop and start the video, which means I haven't got to touch this because every time I touch this to turn the phone on and off, you get a bit of a wobble for a couple of seconds. So by having that remote control, I can just switch it on and off without touching the phone, which is really useful. The selfie stick part itself has got a tripod. So this is great if I want to film myself sat at my desk. I can position it sort of back here, sit down and the camera's on me. So it's good for Facebook Lives and things like that. I do have a big floor um, tripod that I can also put on the floor and I can line that up with this halo light. Um, if I wanted something higher up or, you know, I wanted to be filming myself from further away so I get the whole desk in. So that is my film setup. I will mention how I edit my films in case that's of interest. I film everything on my iPhone. Then I upload it onto my iPad. I just um, airdrop it from my phone to my iPad. And I use a software program called Pinnacle Studio. Um, I think it is designed just for use on an iPad. It's very inexpensive. It's about... I think from memory it was about eight to ten pounds to buy it, a one-off fee. Um, it's really easy to use. I had no experience of video editing before and I find it really easy to use. And then you can upload straight from there onto YouTube, do your usual sort of 
you know adding in the thumbnail picture or whatever and then you're ready to go so it's quite a quick and easy way to do videos so that's an overview of my um, filming process if you've got any questions feel free to, to leave me a comment and I'll reply hope that's of use and I will see you soon